Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. And I asked a question at the end of the last episode, should we accept nomads? And the vast majority of you uh, said yes, with the exception of Jake. Sorry Jake. <laughs> but it seems fate has kind of gone your way because I forgot to pause the game. <laughs> and I walked off and when I came back they'd already walked away. So I guess that kind of answered that question. What I need to do though is, uh, oh, where's the roads, where's the roads, come on, there we go. I want to put these roads to stone because they don't look great. Okay, let's not look great right at how to remove them first. Never mind. I can't remember who suggested it. I, don't, I want to say Choctaw suggested to put them in my industry area. I could be wrong. And if I am, I apologise to whoever. <laughs> That uh, that said to do that, but what was this? The uh, stone plaza. Uh -huh, let's see. Again, I can't, I can't remember who said to try and put them in there for the dark. Not night will work there, which is great, but it's not going to work there. Do you know? What? I should have wrote down the names. It's unlike me. I'm usually very prepared, and I I feel slightly bad <laughs> because I do like to give people a shout out where I can. Now the only difference is. Is I will upgrade to brick roads, and that plaza is not going to work very well. But for the moment, it will stop that corner looking so jagged. So I guess I'm kind of cool with that. Okay, why is that not going through there? Oh, I've left one piece of road. Oh, that's fair enough. Let's just quickly do this because I don't want to spend forever building roads. There we go. I can see it's a little bit there, but I'll grab that later on. Did they remove that one yet? Yes, it did. Fantastic. Right, so what I want to look at was a couple of things. Oh my goodness, resource limits. Is that fuel? It's going to be, isn't it? 2,000. Fuel, 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 fuel. Yeah. Okay, let's up that. Let's put it to 5,000 for the moment. Does that make everybody happy, or some art limits because of food or dry goods, possibly? Yes. See, at the moment, I've got to be kind of careful because I haven't got an unlimited amount of space. So, it's wall bedding. Yeah, I don't like that. Are people happy now? No. What's your problem? Materials. Okay. I kind of wish some of these things were separated a little bit so we don't have this problem every time. Yeah, anyway, we need to get some seeds so we can um, make... Is it cotton we need? Oh, cloth. So we need to kind of work along that line. So what I'm going to do is... Where is it? The trade post. Markets. Here we are. But the farm supplier, there's also an industry supplier as well now, so this was in the previous version. And I'm going to use it, I might just put this over this side if I can sneak it in without making it look completely out of place. Do you know what, it might not look too bad just there. I think we will, we'll go with there. Need to, what's this? I wanted to trade for many items, oh, pack and exchange, oh, it's a chartered company. <laughs> Okay, so that's exactly the same as the farmer one, but the only difference is it's for industry. Hmm. I don't know if that would be better placed somewhere over here. Why not there? Yeah, kind of in this area. But then again, as I'm going to put my mines over here, I might kind of put it somewhere like that. But I'm going to pause that, because I don't want it just yet. Okay. What I could do with doing is just to get things going over here. So I'm going to put a stockpile in. And we will put it kind of. We're going, to, we're going to just kind of squeeze it in here because it's kind of out of the way at the moment. And what I want, it, what I want to do is clear some of this to kind of plan where my mines are going to go in. I don't, know. I don't even know. I might even try some of the key walls in this. But what I what I want to do here is because we got our graveyard and as you can see it's, it's a fenceless one at the moment so we need to put some kind of fence around I mean I could just put a pathway I could where's the um 
Country road. Let's see. Have a see what this looks like. Actually. I'm going to put it right next to it for the moment. I was going to put it straight against it, but I'm tempted to put a wall in. So I want to see what this looks like. We might not actually need the wall. I prioritise that. So I want to look before I decide to actually do anything. I don't think it's going to... Oh, here we go. Let's have a look what it looks like. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> it might suit some area, but... No, it's not going to suit here. Okay. Let's cancel that. So... Do I go with just a straight old path? I think I will. I was going to put some trees around it and walls, but I think we'll just go with the bog standard stone road, I think. That's the edge of the graveyard. There we go. Wait, let me. There we are. I think if we do it this way, it's going to look so much better. I don't know if that's going to keep it highlighted for me or not. No, not quite. And I'm going to put more graveyards in than just this one. And I think it'll just make it slightly different because usually you just put in your graveyard. But this one, I want it to be kind of really, really big and look, you know, much better. Let me pause the game a second so I don't lose where I'm at. Um, transparent fenceless cemetery. And I've also left the, the ground blank because I want to put my own, my own ground in really. Let's leave a little bit more gap. Tempted to do a really long one. Maybe something like that. Okay, let's pause. Ale and mead. That, that would be nice. That'd probably help their happiness, but not right now. Yeah, we've got ten builders. That's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Where were we? We were over here. And I've intentionally left a gap. Now I'm hoping the same thing will have happened here if I've done it right. I probably haven't. Let's have a look. But I want to put like flowers and stuff in the middle. Oh, I've done it right. At least I don't... I'm not failing at everything. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit weird. Oh, there we go. And then... Potentially, I can't quite see. I might need to move some of these trees. They do get in the way. I won't wipe them all out just yet. Because I'm going to, to be honest, I'll probably plant my own trees. Because then I can decide what I actually want to have in this area. Let's just move down here as well. And I might even be able to squeeze another graveyard in, you know. I hope this isn't too boring, by the way. <laughs> um, let's do... Actually... The road, so kind of somewhere like that. Could put more down the sides as well, but we do get a lot of people that are going to die, and this one seems to hold an awful lot of people, so it's going to be like the perfect place for worshippers. There it is. Can see where I put it. That's the only thing when it's kind of fenceless, you don't know where it is. Stone Road. Come on. Ah, that's why you don't want to do it. Okay, well, look, we have that flattened tool. There we go. It's like one of my favourite tools in this in this uh, mod, to be honest with you. It's so useful. Right. Kind of got that marked out, or starting to be marked out. Is this the clothes? Okay. Hmm. I know there's some new buildings that will actually be quite useful when it comes to clothes, but the more we kind of expand and we start using our farm, so we will be in a better place anyway. Right, so what we need is mines. Now, mines come under the one with the trees. I'll have to remember that. So, a copper ore mine shaft. Now, we're going to need one of these. Now, we've got quite a bit of space here. I don't really want to be coming out of here into that kind of area. If we can kind of limit it to this area, it would be great. So, 
Don't mind having it too close to the water as well. That's the mountain. And usually I would flatten things. I kind of want to keep it authentic looking. So, let me kind of plan this out. Because I do want to put some props around it as well. I will build more than one, so I might leave a bit of space. Tin, stone, and salt. Oh, I do like that. That's a nice model. Again, is that... It kind of goes all the way around, but I think... I might get away with... Where is that building? Please keep it highlighted so I can see where it is. Oh, that'll do. I think... Somewhere like that. We need to bring the road through as well, just to help them. I know... I don't know about key wall on this. Because I don't... I, I like, to me, the, the key wall's more prestigious. I know we've got these kind of tools here. What we? We've got the wooden docks, but... Okay. Key wall to dock connector. It's <laughs> interesting. Wood dock, one low piece. So this is all new to me as well, so... Okay, so that goes down. Required for allowing people to walk straight from a key wall to a dock. Regular key wall pieces do not allow this functionality. Therefore, this... Okay, that's fair enough. Right. So we've got our basic key walls. Additional and decorative pieces. Too deep decorative wall for your shoreline. But surely that's just very similar to this. Now, I don't know if I should put this up here or not. Because I will have it around here. Maybe I should. <laughs> I know it's a lot of umming and ahhing. But these things are free as well, so I may as well, I may as well put them in. Just to kind of get a feel. And I will probably delete some and move, move things around a little bit. Put my teeth in. That might be useful. Oh, that's a new piece. Not seen that one before. I kind of like it. Not that it's useful for this situation. A diagonal piece here. Okay. We're we missing. We're missing one of the older pieces though. Where's that diagonal piece we used to have? That's just a one piece. Oh no. That Road seamless decoration. The key wall piece that connects the wall to road seamlessly without showing the grass underneath. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, that is quite useful. D Ooh, ducks. Nah. I don't really need those. I mean, it is food, isn't it? But I'm just wondering why is that diagonal piece? Wall trim. So, how on earth do I? come across here now. Do I, ah, I've got to use this. Okay, so they've slightly changed it. Fair enough. Just means I've got to get used to it. It might actually look better in all fairness. For those of you that have watched my previous series, you'll know I have quite the affinity for the, for the key wall. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. I can live with it. I need to come out one more, I think. It's going to take some tinkering just to get used to how it works, so I think. There we go. Can I use this one now? I suppose I could. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's for going this way. Oh, you imbecile. <laughs> right, I'm going to let that one build because I've got to kind of... figure out how it's going to look. See, it won't quite go there. That might actually look quite nice. We'll have a look and see. We have... Where's these um, pieces? So I can literally, I think, here, yeah, look. Now that is really clever. I've got to admit, that just works so nicely. Can I, can I drag these like roads? No. Okay, well, I'll put that there for the moment. That's fine. I'll sort that in a second. Oh. Pigs. 
Oh, we've got pigs. We don't want pigs. Oh, wait, I should have told him what other animals to bring. Oh, wait a minute, that is the... the... Oh, what am I doing? There's no one in here anyway. Put someone in here. <laughs> Let's use some firewood for the moment. I do need to make some other things for trade. I mean, animals are expensive, but we'll, we'll do that. Let's go over here. Oh, we got our school, so we'll put a teacher in there. Right, where were we? Yeah, as I was saying, it's quite cool. If it, to be honest, it's quite cool if it works properly. Anyway, Let's see, it's not let me place it everywhere. To be honest, I don't even know if they can walk on that. That's the only downside to it. I know I said I didn't want to really flatten the terrain, but let's see if I can kind of get it on a similar level. Because I might not actually need all these pieces. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that might look a little bit better to be honest with you. Let's move that. Okay, that bit there is going to be a slight issue. I don't know what's causing that at the moment, is it? It might be that. Might not be. Ha! We're making progress. That's what I like. <laughs> and we'll tell that to flatten again. Oh, we got some key wall. Oh, pause that. That's why he's not building. I'm pause that one as well, so that needs to be placed. Oh, look. They've really put some serious effort into these buildings, I must admit. Right, so tin ore and tin. Oh, right, so we can actually smelt as well. What's this? Dark tin. Aha, we need candles. I'm going to put one person in there for the moment just to start getting the tin. So, do we need a specific stockpile? Iron, material, stone, fuel. Charcoal, coke fuel. Is it a material? Should we try it? Should we just put a little one next to it and see? See what happens. Okay, there's a trader. God, these are coming. They come fast at the moment. Ooh. Okay. Now, we will always take food. It's back all if we don't particularly need wheat seeds. Now, that could be useful, but... I'm tempted to get the horses. Can I afford them? Probably not. Additional farm. Well, quite a bit. Okay. Well, I need at least four horses, probably. Eee. No, we're getting no horses. <laughs> 168, what else can I take? That's of use. Clay, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, we really need to work on what we can trade. Because that's going to make the difference between this city kind of really coming to life quickly or not. And even, in some instances, surviving, I suppose. There we are. So that's all looking quite good. Now, what were those other pieces before I kind of walk off from this? Um, that's not key walls. There's one, is that key wall? Trim. So you can literally build your own walls, I guess. Okay. Oh. It looks a bit weird in this. I, I don't quite get that. If I just run a stone road next to it, what's going to happen? Yeah, I see. You're going to get that, that slight weird look that I used to always get. But I kind of just put a road underneath. Maybe that won't work this time, as they have changed stuff. And you can actually build under that. So I kind of get why they've done that. So, if I'm right in thinking... Where is it? If... Yeah, you, you kind of... I'm going to have to flatten the, the path a little bit underneath, I think. So you can get see you can get that slight little lip, so... It's not going to work there because the land underneath is not high enough, but... Where it is, if you just kind of give it that tiny little lip... We'll put it there. I think we'll get away with it here. We will, mostly. 
So now, if I put a stone road, it doesn't matter, to be honest, I can put any road, but I like stone roads along these. If I put that along here, and I'll just do it there to show you the difference. See, you get this little thin line of grass, whereas here you won't. It glitches a little bit though, that's the only thing. I'm, I'm t almost tempted if it'll let me to do it the old way. I'll, I'll, I can't just see because that's it's bugging me a little bit. I'll see what happens. Because things like that will drive me crazy. Right, llamas, here we go. So buy some freezing cows, chickens, beef cow. That's all I'm interested at, at the moment. Freezing cows because we can get the milk. Um beef bison well you get hide off all of them anyway don't you so um every visit oh gee i'll dismiss you could i could to the alarms it's probably wool you get from those anyway do you know what i'm gonna leave this episode here but i'm gonna make another one shortly so you won't have to wait as long so until next time as always take care